evidence in the case of a man who was murdered this weekend. Investigators hope this sketch will lead to an arrest in the case. And new tonight, we're hearing from the victim's brother. He tells us why he cannot let hate consume him. Channel 2's Samantha Potashkin is live tonight with more on this. Samantha. Well, Lauren, the family is just absolutely devastated over the death of their loved one. They think someone out there knows something about where his killer is, and now they're asking anyone with information to come forward. He had a baseball. <laughs> The uncle of Jaime Hernandez, remembering his kind-hearted nephew shot and killed over the weekend, police say by this man and two other suspects. Them guys that came over and took his life away, they should not even done that. They should have they should have thought about what if they have kids? families. According to investigators, early Saturday morning, Jaime and a friend went to cash some checks at a business off I-45 South. As they drove away, they noticed a car following them, so Jaime pulled into an IHOP. That's when two men got out of the other car, described as a late model light blue Dodge Avenger. They demanded money, and when Jaime started to drive away, they fired shots, killing him at the scene. Are they proud of what they did? Maybe. Maybe they think they're tough because they did that. But that's not, that's not the reason to come over and just take someone's life like this. It hurts. Jaime's family now desperate for answers, but his brother says he's trying to hold out hope that justice will be served. I don't want to feel angry anymore, man. My brother will not want me to feel this way. And in addition to the two suspects who got out of the car and demanded cash, there was a third suspect behind the wheel of their getaway car. If you have any information about where any of them might be, you should call Houston Police. For reporting live from downtown, Samantha Batashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News.